Uh, with the weather being nice this weekend, a lot of people are probably going to head out for a bike ride. And one organization is allowing seniors to take a trip down memory lane while enjoying the outdoors. Cycling without age originated in Denmark, but it's made its way all the way over to Walworth County. The goal is to get seniors out of isolation one bike ride at a time. I forgot to tell you why we take the pictures before we go. It begins with a picture. In case there's an accident, we can identify the bodies. And a good joke. <laughs> before residents like Velma and Ginny on the left. are able to feel the wind in their hair on this warm Wisconsin day. This is my way of riding a bike. Sure. On this bike ride and cycling without oh, age. That was my knee joint. Oh! <laughs> the two are able to relax and have a good laugh. We'll have artificial ones. Yeah. Cycling without age oh. was brought to Walworth County by Eric Russo and his wife Bernadette as a way to provide mobility, socialization, and the joy of cycling to those who are not able. And the idea behind it is to get them out of isolation. You see them coming out, smiles on their faces, and they're talking with each other. Volunteers are called pilots and give rides on these three-wheeled, pedal-powered bikes called trishaws. You two ladies hang out here together? The first year alone, they gave out about 400 rides. Just riding together today? But the program is so beloved that this year, they have provided more than a 1,000 rides. It's not unusual to have 20, 30 people waiting for these rides. On this day, volunteers saw some familiar faces, like John and Marlis, who have been married for 64 years. <laughs> they say they were happy to spend some quality time together again. What did you think of it? Oh, I thought it was fun. <laughs> but there were also some new faces like Charlie. He says the ride was fantastic, but he does have a few suggestions on improvements. I appreciate it. It was nice going around the place, but it would have been even nicer if we would have driven over to Adrian's for some frozen custard. <laughs> but you can't have everything, right? And as the pilots pedal the residents forward, stories are being shared. You want to save place every time? Or? For volunteer Severin Knudsen, he says this experience is just as rewarding to him as it is for the residents. I think it, it fills my heart as much as it fills their hearts. Throughout the day, there were many smiles and new memories made. Cycling, providing connection to our most cherished members of the community. I just hope it brings them the memories of a good time. These are people that have given us a lot of things and we've benefited from them. Golly wants to see my driver's license. I doubt <laughs> Yeah, and the program is looking to get four more bikes, so they're also looking for more volunteers. They say they would love to have high school seniors or students be a part of that program because that intergenerational connection is so important. Mm -hmm. So I just love being out there with them. They were all so sweet. My heart was just so happy being with them. Yeah. I'm a little jealous. I was yeah. there. <laughs> and they're yeah. talking about the high school seniors and also mm -hmm. being able to, to bike and do that yeah. because yeah. the folks are on the front. And But we were just talking about how they're just, they just talk about whatever they want. <laughs> you know, they're not afraid to <laughs> no, tell I, you. No, I like this one, it but <laughs> I would like it better <laughs> if, if we would have stopped here. and made yeah. a couple of stops. How so, and I love that you can show the love too. You saw mm -hmm. some of the married couples. So How many, adorable. So many amazing stories. Yeah. And so just so wonderful and blessed to be able to spend about two hours sweet. with them. So. Very, very sweet. That's love great. it. Great story, Adriana. I really appreciate it.